Welcome, everybody. I'm very excited to be here today and to share with you many more details about our new offering called Dedicated Region Cloud at Customer. We're in our second decade into this overall cloud infrastructure journey. Uh, and I talk to lots of customers. Pretty much everybody I talk to has some kind of a plan to move to the public cloud. Uh, however, you know, even though everyone's moving to the public cloud, most people still, the vast majority of their, of their server-side computing is done on-premise somewhere. And so uh, one of the important questions to ask is, well, well, why is that? And what are the challenges that are, that are uh, facing customers and how do we actually help them with that? And when I talk to uh, most customers that are having the hardest time moving, uh, moving most of their workloads to the public cloud, they, they highlight these three big, uh, these big challenges. One is around data sovereignty. Sometimes they don't have a public cloud region in the, inside the country or maybe in a DR configuration inside the country that they want to be able to meet their expectations around where data must live. Another one is around security and control. So customers say maybe it's because of uh, physical access needs that they have or certain regulations that they must meet. They need to have physical and, and secure control over their computing environment. And then sometimes, you know, I talk to customers like uh, telecom providers who have workloads that just can't move into the public cloud, but they want the benefits of the public cloud to sit right next to those applications, but they also exist in a very latency sensitive situation. So those are kind of the, the three main classes of problems that we've been hearing from customers. And so at the same time, those customers live on premise. They want all the benefits of the public cloud. They want the comprehensive set of services. They want to be able to pay for what you use. They want the increased security that the cloud offers. They want the same operations model and they want the, you know, the same SLAs that they would get in the public cloud. The combination of those requirements along with the unique needs of these customers' environments, that's what we put together to really uh, come up with the offering that we call dedicated region cloud at customer. And just for some context, in case people aren't aware, you know, today we have a very large region footprint. We have 24 public cloud regions globally. And a year from now, we'll have 36 cloud regions globally. What we've done with dedicated region cloud at customer is we've taken the same technology that we use to be able to deploy and offer our public cloud regions around the world. And we've made that available to individual customers inside their own data center. If you look at, for example, what we need from a dedicated region perspective, what we ask for a customer is, there's a nice picture here of what a customer provides and then also what Oracle provides for those customers. You can see that we need you know, the physical space and power and the network connectivity to be able to install our capacity. We put that all behind a cage. The customer has no access to the physical infrastructure. To them, it's completely abstracted. And then the customer obviously has all of their existing workloads that coexist inside the same data center and they can be networked, uh, you know, far apart, no problem at all. And then we also have to have a place, obviously, for our personnel to be able to work when they have to be able to do things like maintenance operations or capacity upgrades and other operational activities on the dedicated region. You know, sometimes people ask me, well, what set of services and what set of computing capacity is available inside the dedicated region? When we talk to customers, the thing that they told us over and over again is that they really want the full capability of the public cloud, and they want that capability in their data center. So what we did is instead of trying to create a, a small subset of the services and shrink it down to fit onto you know, half of a rack or a single rack like our competitors, what we decided to do was to take an entire region worth of capacity, um, take an entire region set of services, uh, shrink it down to a footprint that will work for most customers in their own data center, and then provide that to them. So we offer more than 50 of our public cloud services available in this dedicated region cloud customer whether it be compute, block storage, archive storage, uh, object storage, file storage, load balancing, the virtualized networking, web application firewall, our virtual key vault, big data services, Oracle database, Oracle Exadata, Oracle autonomous database, all of those services are available inside your dedicated region, uh, Cloudic customer. We also offer all of those services with the same SLAs and the same guarantees that we provide them in the public cloud. And we do all of that with the same pay for what you use model and the same list prices, by the way, that you pay for in the public cloud. When customers hear about this, one of the most exciting things for them is that they get to be able to control the location of their data. And that's something I wanna kind of highlight here. Sometimes people get confused because they think that this, the region that we install at their customer location is just um, some of the data plane aspects. It's a fully self-contained region. What that means is that when we install this at your site, 
all of your data lives completely within that region. It lives completely within uh, that dedicated region cloud at customer, within that, that cage that we install at your data center. That means that you don't have the question where your data is being replicated to or stored. 100% uh, of that stays in the exact same location where you decide you want it to be as a customer. This enables, you know, like I said, the, the most stringent customers to be able to allocate the most critical workloads onto this new infrastructure. So not only do we offer the same pricing uh, for dedicated region cloud customer as we do in our public cloud, but we also give you the super high performance offering and combined together, they really provide the best price performance of anywhere in the industry. So you get our super high performance exadata, you get our best in class block storage offering, you get our high performance computing, uh, you can get our RDMA network, you get bare metal servers, you get our uh, industry leading GPUs. All of that is available inside the same infrastructure, inside the dedicated region cloud customer that we deploy on your premise. So something that people, is very important to them is, is that how, how do we approach SLAs? And so our competitors, because really our competitors with things like AWS Outposts and Azure Stack, it's much more of a shared responsibility model. The, the cloud provider is not uh, taking responsibility for the vast majority of operations, whether it be um, the operation of the service itself in many ways or capacity management, operational tools, et cetera. In our model, because we maintain the exact same uh, stringent requirements we have for our public cloud, we take those exact same public cloud SLAs and we extend them to your dedicated region cloud customer. This is a diagram that shows how you can connect these things together. So um, it's important for us that we offer this dedicated region to the customer, but it's also important that when we do it, we don't do it in a way that violates the operational requirements and availability goals of the region. And what that means is that when customers want to connect an on-premise application to a dedicated region, they still go through the same interconnectivity options as you would in the public cloud. It just so happens, you know, you, you can have a direct connection very easily. Obviously, we wire it up simply, but the same virtualized network gets mounted to your on-premise network, just like it would in a public cloud region. But the difference is, obviously, is that bandwidth is much, much higher and the latency is much, much lower, which means that the, the latency and the bandwidth properties between those two are, are much closer together as they would be on-premise, but you're not violating the abstraction of the cloud itself, which means we can continue to operate it at the high level uh, that is required to achieve those SLAs. So in terms of the commitment model and the purchasing model, procuring a dedicated region cloud at customer, it requires a three-year commitment. The commitment is uh, $500,000 a month or a different way to think about it is at $6 million a year. It's an annual commitment. So you can use that $6 million however you want throughout the year. And you can use any variety of services. If you want to use be very database heavy, that's great. If you want to be very storage heavy, fine too. Oh, you just want a bunch of GPUs? We're happy to provide that. And so we work with customers to understand the mix between uh, the different hardware types and the capacities that they need and make sure that their region always has the capacity that they're expecting, regardless of what workloads they're going to move on to the, the dedicated region. This is a bit of an in-depth kind of side-by-side -side comparison between Oracle dedicated region cloud at customer compared to AWS Outposts and Azure Stack Hub. So I think the biggest you know, difference, as you can see here, is the number of services, right? And something that I think is important for people to understand, it's not just the current number of services that we have today. Yes, we do have you know, over 50 services that we make available right now. More importantly, as we continue to release new services into our public cloud, all of those services also become available in your customer, dedicated region cloud at customer. So you don't have to do anything to continue to get new software. We automatically upgrade it for you uh, without, without there being a gap. And that's because we actually treat all of these regions the exact same way. The same thing you can see here in terms of compute shapes, we have the complete suite of offerings, storage services, you know, and in the same way that we talk about our cloud connectivity, we make it very easy because we only have the, the simple port charge when we do the interconnection. The bandwidth is free between your dedicated region and your on-premise, which makes it very easy to support these hybrid scenarios. In terms of data management services, obviously there's a huge difference between what we offer and our competitors offer. And the same thing around things like management and analytics, security and networking, right? We just we have a huge number of services that are available and you'll continue to see more and more released as we continue to add more services to our overall cloud portfolio. As I talked about before, things like SLA, also important is our marketplace availability, right? 
So it's not just a matter of we have the software that we as a first party provide, all of our marketplace offerings are also available in dedicated region cloud to customer. The model in which we deploy this is also much more self-contained. We deploy all of our data hosting assets as well as all of the control plane, the management functionality lives within that region. That's different than what say AWS Outpost does, which has a control plane up in the cloud somewhere and your data plane locally. And then Azure Stack Hub is much more complicated because of the three-way relationship between Microsoft and the hardware vendor that you use to procure the hardware from. It's, it's much more complicated. In terms of the consumption model, the key here is to understand is that you're really buying a cloud region. And so the, the $6 million per year commitment is a minimum spend that you have to do, but there's no commitment to what exactly you're spending on. You know, whether, like I said, whether it's compute, whether it's database services, whether it's our blockchain, whether it's IoT, whatever it is, you spend it and you can change your usage throughout the you know, day, month, week, year. No lock in that area. Uh, that's very different than a lot of our competitors where you have to show up and you buy a certain number of racks and then you have to do your own capacity planning. It's, it's, a, it's a very different model. We're offering a fully managed cloud, right, on your premises. Uh, Oracle dedicated region cloud at customer is the only offering that has anything like this in the industry. And then you see here, one more point that's an additional is that because we operate this the same way, because we patch it the same way, because our security controls are the same as it is in the public cloud, we can actually bring the vast majority of our public cloud certifications to your on-premise environment so that we're not having to make you go through a completely separate audit for those environments um, and you kind of a do it all yourself environment. So I wanna talk about a couple of customers. You know, We have many, many customers interested in this offering, but we have a couple of important uh, capstone early adopters um, that have, have been uh, helping us shape this product and working very closely together with us. The first one of those is NRI. NRI is a very important uh, Japanese technology company, and they're using our dedicated region cloud at customer to do database consolidation as well as to modernize their IT infrastructure stack. But I have more than just this slide. Why don't we go to a video and listen to NRI tell us more about their experience using dedicated region cloud at customer. NRI is a global consulting leading company.特に金融マーケットに提供しているさまざまなビジネスプラットフォームは市場で高い評価を得ておりますが、今回このビジネスプラットフォームのさらなる価値向上のために、オラクルディケイテッドリージョンクラウドアットカスタマーの導入を決定
Oman ICT Group is committed to be a driving force in propelling Oman's ICT sector and playing an active role in contributing to Oman's economic diversification and sustainable development. And we aim to do this by unlocking the full potential of ICT through strategic investments, focused initiatives, bespoke partnership, and fostering the proven talents of Omani citizens. Hence, we have established a professional business model that includes the management of cutting-edge ICT technologies across the Sultanate. This, we believe, will align us with Oman's Vision 2040. And this was further emphasized when His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Talaq addressed the nation on the 23rd of February 2020 and said that his government will be following up on the progress of various sectors, including small and medium enterprises, but specifically those involved in innovation, artificial intelligence, and advanced technologies. Oracle's innovative approach to cloud is helping us achieve and exceed the goals on this transformative journey. Since we could not take our workloads and data to the public cloud, Oracle's dedicated region cloud that customer brought the public cloud to our data and workloads. With Oracle dedicated region clouds at customer, we will bring the newest public cloud innovation of Oracle in country ensuring the highest level of data privacy for all agencies and citizens in the Sultanate. This was a major decision and not to be taken lightly for the Sultanate. After extensive evaluation with different alternatives, we chose Oracle Cloud Infrastructure because it guarantees data sovereignty, including the ability to manage all of it locally. OCI as well guarantees strong SLAs even behind our firewalls within our data centers. Uh, it also uh, offers the best price performance economics. Now that we've heard from both of those customers, I just want to spend a, a couple more minutes wrapping up a, a few other kind of important uh, details about dedicated regions before, before I let you, you know, go back to your busy day. As we talked about, you know, 100% of our services are available. That includes not just our infrastructure services, but it also includes our applications. So for example, when you choose dedicated region cloud at customer, you also get all of the benefits of our fusion applications, things like ERP, HCM, et cetera. They all run on top of that same infrastructure and they can run on your dedicated region cloud at customer as well. When you procure one of these, we can make it available in about six months in the four to six month time frame, And a large part of that is working with you to make sure that we have the right space, power, and networking requirements, and then obviously deploying all of the hardware and configuring the software, that kind of thing. And then it's managed in exactly the same way that we do our public cloud regions. We remotely operate it. We have 24 by seven monitoring. All of that stuff is automatically taken care of. So sometimes people ask, well, how much space and power do I need for this? Well, look, you can give us as much as you want, but in terms of a minimum footprint, we need at least the 500 kilowatts or half a megawatt of power and approximately 2,000 square feet of contiguous data center space to be able to install one of these. And that gives us room for the initial footprint as well as enough room to add the extra capacity that customers will need as they want to be able to grow over time. You don't have to procure anything. This is a, this is a purely uh, cloud commitment. You're not buying hardware. You're not buying assets. None of this stuff is your responsibility. There's a black box. We install it. We make sure everything um, continues to work as you would expect from any kind of a cloud service. Uh, in terms of capacity planning, we work with you, obviously, because certain customers have unique needs, but we use the exact same processes and the same supply chain we would use for all of our public cloud regions. We make that available to your dedicated region cloud at customer to ensure that you don't run out of capacity at any time. And in closing, dedicated region cloud at customer is really a truly differentiated offering. There's nothing else like it in the cloud market. We've worked very, very hard and we've worked with a lot of customers to make sure that this is the best offering that we can, the best in class of anywhere in the entire cloud infrastructure space. We're very excited to offer dedicated region cloud at customer. And the best part is if you want to understand exactly what services and, and uh, functionality is available, you can try it very easily by going to our public cloud and sign up for a free trial. All of that functionality will work exactly as you expect in your dedicated region cloud at customer. Thank you very much.